At the rear of the unit are the power switch, the power inlet, the fuses and the RS-232 and USB connections. At the top and front are the printer, connections for the electrodes, the titration vessel holder and the front panel. To assemble the glassware, start by placing the titration vessel in the holder. Next, take the electrode leads and attach them to the generator and detector electrodes and then locate the electrodes on the titration vessel. For more detail on this or any other aspect of the Aquamax KF Cooler Metric, please refer to the user manual, which is available on the GR Scientific website. The injection scepter is fitted into the plastic screw cap connectors and located onto the injection ports of the titration vessel. The drying tube is then filled and fitted. Before adding the chemicals, remove the assembled glassware to avoid spillage on the instrument. Remove the injection port and the drying tube and insert the stirrer bar. Add the full 100 ml bottle of reagent using the supplied funnel and reconnect the injection scepter. Take the cathode reagent, snap the vial, which has a safety snapper already fitted, and pour the reagent into the inner chamber of the generator electrode. Reconnect the drying tube, relocate the glassware onto the Aquamax KF Cooler Metric, and connect the electrode leads onto the appropriate sockets. To switch the instrument on, connect to the mains electricity supply using the power pack and mains cord. Press the power on switch at the rear of the unit. The instrument will then start to stir automatically and the display will show the model, the software code and what the operator is required to do. All other keypad functions are disabled. Press start as requested by the display. The Aquamax KF Cooler Metric begins the precondition process showing how many micrograms of water have been titrated, the speed of titration and the detector signal. After several minutes, as the process advances and the speed reduces, settle any residual moisture more quickly by turning the unit off and gently swirling the vessel. After preconditioning is complete, the Aquamax KF Cooler Metric will monitor the background drift and then move into ready mode once this is stable. Once in ready mode, the keypad is enabled and the instrument can be programmed. The program key 
displays a scrolling list of program parameters, beginning with the sample ID number. This can be up to eight digits in length. To clear an entry, simply press Clear. To confirm an entry, press Enter. If the sample ID number is the only parameter to be changed, press Clear and the unit will return to the ready mode. It's not necessary to scroll through unwanted parameters. The second parameter is Recall Method. Methods can be stored in memory to avoid reprogramming from scratch. The next parameter is Result Format. Pressing the decimal point will cycle the format through microgram, ppm, milligrams per kilogram and percentage. Press Enter to select the required format and then Enter again to move to the next parameter. This is Calculation Mode. The choices here are Volume and Specific Gravity, Volume, Weight Difference, Weight and Dilution Ratio. The Aquamax KF Coolometric will then ask for the values appropriate to the chosen mode. The Printer Mode parameter gives options for OFF, for printing every result, or for a full report including time, date, sample number, instrument serial number, and so forth. The Statistics Print parameter will print statistical data from a series of up to 99 results. The Background Drift Print option may be either on or off. Other parameters allow delay times to be programmed, minimum titration times to be set, and the sensitivity to be changed. The beep can be turned off, set to sound when a key is pressed, to the end of titration, or to both. The user's language can be selected from a list of all common languages. The generator electrode parameter can be set to either with or without FRIT. This completes the programming, and the method that has just been specified can be saved for future reuse.